What have we got? She won't take her shot. I tried to explain to her it would only hurt a teensy bit. That didn't work. I offered her a dollar. That didn't work. Nor was she moved by my it's friendly Mr. Needle argument. <laughs> now back home, we dropped chipmunk down their shirt, and by the time they got that shot, it'd be all over. I think I can handle this. If I were you, I'd approach her carefully. Why? You'll see. <laughs> Jennifer, dear, what happened since I left the room? Go on. <laughs> Jennifer, all the right... <laughs> Near as I can figure, the twilight zone starts at the end of the table. <laughs> Amazing. Now, between you and me, this ain't helping morale out in the waiting room. All right, Jennifer, dear, I'm putting this right down here. I'm reaching into my pocket, pulling out a magical Tootsie Pop. <laughs> I get so excited when something actually goes right. Jennifer, come on. I want you to have this Tootsie Pop, but I want you to have that medicine, too, because you're sick, baby, and it's going to make you better. Now, you know how grown-ups are always saying, this is going to hurt me more than it's going to hurt you. Not true. <laughs> but it's not all that bad, either. And to prove it, if it does hurt too much, you can kick me in the shins as hard as you'd like, and you still get the Tootsie Pop. Deal? Deal. All right, you got girl. All right, now you look at that picture over there. Ready? Okay. Nice, squeeze your nose. Hard, real hard, real hard, real hard. And one, two, three, done, it's done. Oh, are my shins safe? All right, it's Tootsie Pop time. Good girl. I have to talk to you. No, I don't. Don't talk to me. Don't say anything. Whenever you say I have to talk to you, it's bad news. It's your daughter, Barbara. I just spoke to her lieutenant at the station. Uh, what happened? What? What? She's okay. She's fine. What do you mean she's okay? She's fine. People don't say she's okay. She's fine. If she's okay, she's fine. But she is fine. She's at Fillmore Hospital, but she's all right. And here are your car keys. If she's at the hospital. She's not all right. I'm a doctor. I know these things. Where are my keys? You're holding them. Uh, how does she get hurt? Well, she got shot a little bit. <laughs> How is she? Oh, she's fine. It's just a clean flesh wound. Who are you? Uh, Dr. Weston, her father. Oh, hi, Harry. Hi. Who are you? Mitch. Mitch Halpern? Oh, Mitch. Hi. I didn't recognize you without your mustache. You look good. <laughs> Daddy, is that you? Oh, sweetheart. Sweetheart, you're awake. Yes. Well, I'm totally loaded. <laughs> what are you using? First and now, Fenta. She's totally loaded. <laughs> Baby, where were you shot? In Butt City. <laughs> Tinyville. Keisterland. Sweetheart, you shut up for your stone. <laughs> oh, this is awful. You had the cutest little popo I ever saw. Still looks pretty good to me. <laughs> hey, this is my daughter. You just keep her loaded. Harry, we're trying to work here? I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, Mitch. It's, I'm, I'm, I'm a little upset. It happens every time one of my children gets shot. It's a quirk of mine. Forgive me. <laughs> but don't forgive me yet because I'm not finished. Barbara, I cannot stand you being a cop. I just lost your mother 18 months ago, and I cannot take the thought of losing you. So you got to quit. You hear that? You promised me you'll quit. Are you talking to me, Daddy? Yeah, uh, Harry, I'm going to have a big argument with my son next week about his girlfriend. Is it okay if we come over to your office to do it? All right, Mitch, I'm sorry. No, it's okay. It's okay. And she's going to be uncomfortable for a couple of days. Okay, now, honey, you, you'll stay with me, and I'll take care of you like old times. <laughs> Actually, I never did take care of you, did I? Your mother did that, but, but uh, it'll be like the old times we never had. Get out, Harry. I just want to talk to my little girl here. Get out, Dad. Yeah, get out, Dad. It's unanimous. Uh, all right, all right, all right. But I'm taking you home with me tonight. Harry? I, yes, right. Get out. But please take good care of her. Harry, trust us. We're professionals. 
popo clamp. <laughs> the lab called. The McLean boys test were negative. Dr. Petrie wants to see you for a consultation at 3 o'clock. Starting at 1.30, you've got four appointments, three streps in a month. Your subscription on Boy's Life running out, and you don't have to be at the hospital until 6 o'clock. And that sneaky Hodges boy keeps stealing the Legos. <laughs> Thank you, robo-nurse. <laughs> A letter from home, huh? Tuesday was the saddest day in the history of Hickory, Arkansas. Uncle Walter died. He was loved by all. Oh, Laverne, I'm sorry to hear that. He weighed 672 pounds. <laughs> That's big. Uh -huh. One night I watched Uncle Walter eat an entire sack of potatoes. A couple of gallons of pork and beans and a half dozen loaves of stale sourdough bread Louise Pritchard had brung back from San Francisco where she's visiting her homosexual nephew, Clifford. Uh, you're kidding me. I swear to you, she visits him once a year. He works in a nightclub where he dresses up like Joan Rivers. <laughs> Do you find this amusing? No. Oh, I'm sorry. Jimmy Hodges, I'm gonna cut me a switch. You get back here, them Lego. <laughs> hey, baby, how are you? I want to talk to you now. Oh, what's the matter, sweetheart? You seem a little upset. I am more than a little upset with you, Daddy. I'm furious. Ah, uh, you had a little chat with Lieutenant Metzger. You had absolutely no right to butt into my work like that and take over like I don't exist. Look. No, I... you look. I am a grown woman. But as long as you keep insisting on treating me like a child, I want you to stay the hell out of my life. Barbara? Barbara, let me in or I will start singing and I will embarrass you in front of all your neighbors. Barbara? Whether I'm right <laughs> or whether I'm wrong, whether I find a place on this earth or never belong, I've got to be me. Barbara, I came uh, to apologize. I am uh, sorry they took you off the streets. I'm not sorry, sorry, but I am sorry that I had anything to do with it at all, if indeed I did. The point is, I should not have butted in to your life. No, Daddy, you shouldn't have. I am an adult. I mean, I, I don't need anyone looking after me. I have my own job, my own apartment, my own food. I have my own lettuce. I have my own rice cakes. I have my own early pregnancy test. I didn't see that. I don't... What, what are you doing? What are this... you I'm screwing this up. All right, uh, uh, Barbara, I hate it when you're mad at me, especially the silent treatment. Your mother used to do that to me, too, you know, and sometimes I could joke her out of it, but I, I have much too much respect for you, and this is too important between us to try to pull anything like that. By the way, did I mention I saw Elvis Presley last week? <laughs> I know he's supposed to be dead, but I swear I saw him mowing alone in Boca Raton. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you very much. <laughs> he's not even a smile. You are tough. Get that from your mother, too. If she didn't feel like laughing, forget about it. As I recall, the only thing that could get her to laugh, and you kids was Mr. Baghead. <laughs> Come on, your mother loved me like this. <laughs> on formal occasions, I had a black bag. <laughs> oh, baby, come on. Go easy on me. I'm running out of tricks here. The only other thing I can think of that would make your mother laugh is something I'm not about to do in front of my own daughter. <laughs> it's 
Suffice it to say, it requires my wearing something with an elastic waistband and there is some ventriloquism involved. <laughs> oh, honey, don't leave. Don't go. If you do, I'm lost. Tell me what it is you want to hear. I will say it. Why can't you let me live my life the way I want to? Because I can't handle it. Being a cop is what I do. It's what I am. And when you took that away from me, you took too much. All right, you know, you're right. You're right. All right, tomorrow I will go and I'll talk to you, Lieutenant. Tell him I've reconsidered and I want you back in the line of fire, okay? You're doing the same thing all over again. I don't want you to go to the station. That's for me to do. I will take care of the lieutenant. Now, you have got to understand, I'm not daddy's little girl anymore. You've got to let go. Let go? Sure, I mean, I can let go. Watch. <sighs> Letting go, I let it. It's done. <laughs> And you'll be okay when I get reassigned back to the streets? Won't you hear for the ha oh, ha letting go thing? What about when I go back undercover? Uh-huh. And I go on another drug bust? Uh-huh. Even if they're shooting? <laughs> Please go easy on me, baby. I'm a rookie at this letting go stuff. I just want to make sure you're not going to interfere with my work again. Okay. I'll try. I promise. Oh. oh, good. Mm. But hey, hey, hey. Let's be careful out there. 